guys, and welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about three must-have applications if you're traveling uh, in Poland or plan to at any uh, time in the near future. Um, so whether you're driving a car, taking a train, riding a bus or a tram, these are going to be invaluable to you as far as giving you assistance, uh, navigating your way around Poland. Um, I know for myself, when I first came here, um, things were a little difficult because not all the signage uh, is available in English, um, but these applications are. So that's a huge help. Plus, they also uh, give you a one-stop shop for paying for everything from parking to bus fares um, and uh, rail transportation tickets. All of this is all available on the apps. So you you don't have to be worried about, uh, you know, am I saying the right things? Am I talking to the right people? Um, is this, you know, uh, the right line? This will be able to help you out with all of that. So uh, the first one we're going to be talking about is the mobile app app. Now, this is really only going to apply to you if you're driving here in Poland. Um, so this will handle all of your parking um, for the majority of the cities uh, throughout Poland. Some of the smaller cities don't utilize uh, mobile app. Um, you still have to pay by parking stand. But this is a really super handy application. Uh, and we'll talk more about it here. So with mobile app, um, you have the option of using it for paid parking, public transport, and long distance transport. I will say that for public transport and long distance transport, this is not the app that you're going to want to utilize. Um, I use this strictly for paid parking. So as you can see, some of the different cities um, that uh, I visited, um, we can just click on a city. As you're parked in an area, you'll see that there's uh, signs letting you know which um, parking area you're in. Uh, but this also does give you GPS location. Uh, so you can go in and you can pick you know, how long you're going to be there. Um, the nice thing about this app is if you're in a city that uh, you're not sure of the parking hours, this will tell you whether you need to pay for a, a, a parking pass or not. Um, so this is super handy for that. But like I said, not all cities uh, are available uh, in Mobilette. So keep that in mind. If, it, uh, if a city's not on here, uh, it doesn't mean that you don't have to pay. You're just going to have to find a parking um, meter uh, in order to do that. Now, like I said, you can use this uh, for uh, public transport, but you have to know what city you're in um, and you can pick you know, or what bus line you're, you know, you're using and you can pick, um, from here and pay for, um, your, uh, public transport. Same thing with the long distance with the trains. Um, you know, you can pick provider, start point and destination and go from there. It's not the greatest, but it does work. Um, and there are a couple of lines that aren't available in the other apps, uh, that you can utilize through this. So, just keep that in mind. Now, this next application is Colio. Uh, so Colio is really uh, super, super handy if you are traveling by uh, rail. Um, there are uh, multiple different rail companies in uh, Poland, and Colio handles the majority of them. And if it doesn't handle a specific rail section, it will link you to the site that handles uh, the payment for that uh, specific rail, but I think at this point they pretty much have it all covered. So uh, Colio is going to be the next app we talk about. So now with Colio, um, it's super, super simple. Um, you can just put in your starting station. You can even use GPS location to do so just by hitting uh, the GPS button and uh, it'll give you the closest, uh, you know, your closest station. And then you pick your ending location um, you can pick, uh, you know, dates, uh, and, uh, hours that you want to travel out and it'll give you, uh, the closest trains, um, to when you wanted to depart. Um, now, um, the thing here in Poland is if you're traveling, uh, to, you know, uh, to a location all the time, uh, sometimes getting season tickets, make the most sense. So you can come on, um, 
like the line that's most popular around here uh, is this one. Um, now, for my area, which I'm in, uh, I think, uh, th uh, tier three, um, it's 469 zloty per month. Um, and it allows me to travel uh, to any city or uh, village within um, my within t zone three. Um, and, you know, well, three, two or one. And it's because one's being the closest to the city and then it goes further as you go out. Um, so it's it's kind of a, a nice setup. Um, but, you know, it's almost 500 zloty for a month. Um, if you're doing this for more than one person, so like if it was me and Anya doing this together, you know, that's almost a thousand zloty a month. It's cheaper to just drive. Um, so... The one thing I can say um, about uh, the, the rail system here um, is it's pretty straightforward and you can uh, order the tickets uh, fairly easy using Coolio. Uh, if you guys are enjoying this content, please do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button. Uh, we're a new channel we're trying to build up following um, and you know, it would be really helpful if I could get all the likes and subscribes that I could possibly get. Uh, and make sure that you hit the notification uh, bell so that way you get notified of all of our new content. So the last application we're going to talk about is Yako Yada. Um, and this one really pertains mostly to uh, like trams and buses inside of cities. Uh, and it's that's kind of where it shines. But we'll talk about more about it right here. Now, Yakoyada um, is basically utilized uh, the most for uh, in-city travel. Uh, it does have a new inner-city option, um, and I haven't utilized it yet, um, but it's kind of nice because it does give buses and trains available, um, you know, going throughout, uh, throughout the country, um, which is pretty cool. Um, but I find that the, the most useful for, of this app is um, for in-city travel. Um, so I can uh, check by uh, GPS the same as in others. Uh, and then I have an ending point that um, I can put in. And it gives me the um, exact routes of the buses and trams, the timelines. And the cool thing is, is the GPS for this is exceedingly accurate. Um, you know, because there are some bus uh, stops where it, you have one going one direction on one side of the street and one going the other on the other. So you need to know exactly which, uh, it may be the exact same number, but you just have to know which side of the street you need to be on. So this will do it. Um, and like I said, this is best in city for using, uh, trams and buses. Um, but this is a really fantastic app. And if you're here in Poland, it's a must have if you're only using public transport. Once again, I want to say thank you guys for sticking around, watching the whole video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. And, uh, if you guys have any travel suggestions, uh, as far as applications and stuff that you've found, um, make sure you hit them in the comments. Um, and, uh, Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Please be sure to like uh, and subscribe. It would be a huge help. And uh, we look forward to seeing you guys again real soon. And uh, hopefully you guys will be coming to Poland and uh, putting some of these apps to use. And uh, I'm sure that you'll have a great time and it'll be an experience of a lifetime. Anyways, hope I make your life a little bit easier with these applications and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video.